Hello there. Welcome to the Coughing Sheep. Looking for a place to stay? Just one room? Let's see here. I have two rooms available. The Awakening Room and the Destiny Room. Hmm? Why do we name our rooms like that? Each of our rooms are named after an important part of our history. You must not be from around here. Where are you from? Dorn. The one by Mossyport? That's east of the old Imperium lands, isn't it? I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't know too much about our history then. Oh right, the room. Sorry, here you go. It'll be 60 silver pieces. Curious about the history now? Haha, <laughs> okay. Let's see where to begin. Well, over 500 years ago, there were nine warriors from all across the land. They came on a personal request from the king to escort a supply ship to Waveria. When they arrived here in Drake Wing Port, they found in their shipment a sword, a magic sword. Little did they know, that sword was the beginning of a journey unlike anything they've ever experienced. The sword happened to be a part of eight other magical artifacts that were scattered throughout the land. The artifacts were said to have been the ancient weapons that banished the evil dragon queen, Tiamat, to the Nine Hells hundreds of years ago. Rumors had been heard that the time of Tiamat's return had come and that she was to bring devastation and tyranny to Wyveria and all other continents. So, the warriors set off to find the other ancient weapons, in hopes of using their old power to banish the Dark Goddess from Gaia once again. Along the way, they made many allies, and many foes as well. It wasn't long before they found the face. Three sisters of prophecy that had helped the heroes realize their true destiny. The face revealed to them that they didn't need the ancient weapons to defeat the evil Dragon Queen. The power to defend the land was inside them all along. But Tiamat had plans of her own. She had a secret she kept locked away. Little did they know the nine warriors on a quest to destroy the Dark Goddess were actually her children. Yet despite the truth about their identity, the Nine took up their arms against the Dark Goddess. In a battle that shook the earth, the faded heroes stood no chance. So they shattered the ancient weapons, the source of Tiamat's power. But it still wasn't enough. It was then that thunder and lightning shook the sky. And Bahamut, the king of dragons, descended from the sky. By lending them his divine power, they sealed Tiamat away sending her back to the depths of the Nine Hells. What happened after that? Well, who knows? I guess... it went home. Wait a minute. So let me get this straight. We're about to spend six to twelve months talking about these blokes with their magic swords and whatever not. I propose something a little more fascinating. What about... No, hear me out, mate. What about... The Adventures of Captain Dirk Jackham. <clears throat> I, I mean, I mean, The Adventures of the White Fox. Yes, that's, that's what I meant, that's what I meant. Right. Ah, oh, that's much better. Oi! 
New guard. Yeah, you. Over here. Salute. I'm filling in for Jeffrey. He's, uh, out sick. Oh, all right. Here, help us load up these supplies. Oi, so have you heard what's been going on at home? I heard that the crew of some ship called the Wolf or Fox, or some kind of animal, tried to take down our great and mighty Imperium. Somehow, they sail around the world pulling together all the nations under the protection of the Imperium and led a revolution. You don't say. I mean, really. They met with every nation, got on the good side, made them join a war against this almighty superpower that was protecting them. I mean, really. I find that a little hard to believe. But, uh, then again, I guess due to the state that our lovely nation is in, I should believe it. But we're not down and out. The Imperial Remnants have plans for months to come. I... Oh, just, uh, set those rifles down over there. Oh, so get this. A few privately owned ships have been sailing out into this vast ocean we see before us to try and find, you know, people to trade with. Uh, the newly founded Eastwood Bound Trade Company has also been sending ships to trade out there. I guess the prospect of trading is a bit more important than human lives. Most ships that have set sail I ain't even heard of. But the Eastwood Bound Trade Company has been able to set up uh, one or two new outposts in the new seas. Huh? Everything past those outposts, though, were uh, dangerous waters. It must be true at this land, though. With those great evils out there, where the storms were, at least where the storms used to be. And blasted if I'm gonna be the first one to face them. Us ship hands need to stick together and do what we're good at. Which is, uh, not dying. <laughs> oh, uh, load that gunpowder over there. Huh? Haven't the other nations been interested in what goes on out there? Oh, those nations won't be setting sail for some time. Luckily, our great lord planned ahead. He sent out sleeper agents to mix up some trouble in Lumboku and Palula. <laughs> By the sound of it, those nations won't be giving us trouble in the months to come. They're going to be dealing with their own problems for a while. <laughs> Which is good, because uh, the Empiric Remnants have plans for what's out there. Word is that, uh, word is he's still alive. You know, Lionheart. Right now, he's out there re-establishing our great nation. Mm -hmm. And I hope he makes whoever did this to him pay. Anyways, looks like we're done loading up the ship here. I gotta run. There's a whole fleet here that's about to make sail to the new sea that I still have to help load up. Duh. What was your name anyways? Oh, nice Phoenix tattoo. Grazie. If you don't mind, I have to meet up with someone real quick. Right. Back to what you were doing. 